awaken her. Ah, uh, there it is. There's that first spark of life in an otherwise lifeless being. If I'm to be honest, it never ceases to amaze me. The miracles I can work in a world that only knows such sorrow and tragedy. I can see you understand sorrow. I can see that you've suffered. Even in death, your eyes are tormented. What wretched life did you lead? What deathly sickness? What grave misfortune could have ended your life so... prematurely? Well, I suppose none of that matters now. This is a new beginning, a new life which I have gifted to you. All that you were, and all that you knew, it does not matter anymore. What matters now is your purpose. Of all those I have risen before you, you are the first to be so promising. The first of a generation, sentient, thinking. I can see it in your eyes, the way they dart about, observing, acknowledging, seeking answers. You will have your answers, and I will have mine. Hmm, do not look so afraid. I'm but a benevolent benefactor to those of us who have been prematurely expired. Such an injustice death is when you've never truly lived. Tell me, have you lived? Though you cannot speak, I need no words to comprehend the injustice that has been done unto you. Your life was not a life at all. There is a melancholy in your spirit, an ache to be set free. Don't you see now? There is no greater freedom, no greater gift than a second chance. I'd like to think I give my subjects options, but you are the first among them to be capable of choosing, to truly have a voice. In essence, I can feel you. I understand you in a way that no one else could. And in that way, you have a power that none before you have ever possessed. You know, it has always unnerved me, the silence that comes with the dead. But you are not silent. Your mind is raging. Your mind is magnificent. You are an exquisite work of art, of my creation. If only the world could see you as I do. Hmm? Where is it that you are going? Oh. I would not do that if I were you. Sentient as you are, I imagine you still cling to mortal ideals. The water's edge may hold horrors that you are not ready to face. You might find that you look something dreadful. That's it. Come here. Lie back down. There is work to be done yet. Your body is in shambles, but your essence is strong. With time, I might restore you to your former glory. And we have all the time in the world, you and I. Someday, we might be amongst the ancients that roam this earth. We shall be sung about in tales, timeless, immortal. Does that not appeal to you? Some would call it unnatural. I call it human nature. Is it not man's way to disrupt the ordinary, to seek, learn, and overcome? Are we not the masters of this desolate waste? Wicked, twisted wardens of the earth. If I am what they call evil, then what are they? Where they feed death 
with their wars and petty politics. I nurture life. I reverse the wrongs they have done. Ah, but I ramble. You will see soon enough the evils of man, if you have not seen it already yourself. In time, you will understand why I do what I do. But for now, let us rest. I am unaccustomed to sustaining a thrall of your calibre. In fact, you are rather exhausted. I will have to acclimate to this division of power. But for now, well, I cannot maintain. <laughs> I am nearly afraid to let you go. But you will be back. That soul shard in your chest ought to keep you tethered to this realm. I know what is to be done. I can call upon you at any time, given that I am not at my mana's end. I shall put your body to rest, and then, come morning, I will explain everything that I can, everything that I am willing to share. I am sure that your questions can wait until then. Sweet, Sweet dreams, dreams, my little, little thrall, if you dream at all, that is. is.